it should be pretty obvious what my favorite attraction is at any of the Disney parks. The Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has always been an inspiration for Thunder Mesa, and there's one scene in particular that I've always wanted to add. Big Thunder Camp sits high atop the Mesa, along the right-of-way for the ON-18 Horse Thief and Nevermind Tram. This seemed like it might be an ideal location for a dynamite shag with a hungry goat problem. The goat part was easy. I picked up this fellow in a pack of O-scale farm animals, repainting him and adding a dynamite stick made from some red wire insulation. Now, there seems to be some confusion over whether the Big Thunder Goat is meant to be wild or domestic. But having seen actual mountain goats in the southwest, I can tell you that this one is definitely of the farm variety. He's got a buddy down in Zucalo Plaza, and it's safe to assume they both wandered out of the same path. On Big Thunder, the Dynamite Shack and Goat are on opposite sides of the track, just past the crest of Lift Hill B. Though the track layout is a mirror image in Orlando, the relative positions stay the same. On my version, I staged the goat and the shack on the same side of the track, so the gag would read better from a viewer's point of view. I drew up some plans for the shack based on photos and best guesses. These were translated into a planning model and later a set of laser cut walls and stencils. The walls are scribed basswood and the roofing is paper shingles over an illustration board base. All of the wood was weathered with a mixture of black shoe dye and rubbing alcohol. Building the shack didn't take long at all and it was soon time to start working it into the larger scene. Yellow LED lights were added inside and out. Then, the entire scene was assembled at the workbench on a removable piece of scenery that serves as an access hatch for rainbow caverns down below. Detailing this little mini scene was a lot of fun. I added some more wire insulation dynamite sticks, some light of and hide crates that I designed, some barrels, tools, junk, and all the usual desert plants. And if you know where to look, there's even a hidden Mickey, just like on Big Thunder. One final detail still to be added are the GOAT sound effects. I have an MP4 from the ride soundtrack and will use an ITT product sound module to activate it when the trains pass. I'm pretty happy with the way the whole scene turned out, and especially love it at night with the lanterns and glow. By the way, the Lightem and Hyde dynamite boxes used in this build are available as a free paper model download on the Thunder Mesa Studio site. Just follow the link in the YouTube description below. And that's going to wrap it up at Thunder Mesa for today. Hope you'll tune in again soon as I share more projects and ideas. Until next time, watch out for those pesky goats. And adios for now.